Joey is made out of uh, three main materials. He's made out of a wicker over, over the frame to give the shape. The aluminum is the actual frame, which gives uh, rigidity for the actors to strap into, or the puppeteers. And then he's got mesh, which uh, makes him look full. It also allows the actors to be able to see out a little bit, but when it's lit, you can't see right through it, which is a very nice composition of the, the art of it. Joey is built over a, a, a fairly long course of time at Handspring Puppet Factory, which is in South Africa. And so they're all built and shipped over here. And uh, I believe they start with the aluminum frame and then they start just wrapping the, the cane around and getting the forms that they want. So every horse is actually different. They don't, they don't build him on a form. They don't bend each, each piece specifically. It's uh, just hand done, hand wrapped. They wrap little bits of string around to hold everything in place and then just glue over the string. For the most part, Joey stays as a whole. He, he also travels as a whole. When we move him, we, you know, we, we travel him, we get him all set up and nice and safe and secure, and, and he travels all in one piece a, as one, so we, we never really take Joey apart. Each actor has kind of a physical movement, a part that they carry, as well as a, as a like emotional movement, but that can also be something that's physical. So, for instance, the head actually controls where the head points, but he also moves the ears. The heart position has two different movements. He actually curls the feet, as well as actually holding the heart, but his emotion is to breathe with the horse, and the hind moves the rear feet and flicks the rear tail. It's a balance that you're having between whether you're in control of, of Joey or Joey is controlling all of us. Um, it's not so much of buttons and levers that we're pulling, but our whole bodies breathing together and integrating to make the horse seem alive. The puppet is, is actually quite simple um, from just a basic operational perspective, but it's the, it's the life that we have to infuse the puppet with that sort of makes it look more complicated and, and fluid. There is the kind of constant direction that no matter what's happening on stage we must always be a uh, living breathing horse so our choreography will be get from point a to point b but the way we get from point a to point b will change every night and more importantly than anything we need to react to what's happening around us as a horse would 